Hi everybody, welcome to the Actors Academy. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we're going to be talking about how you can develop your characters. So, uh, this is a question that I get a lot from people on all different spectrums. From people who are doing films, TVs, um, plays, maybe they're doing a scene from class. It doesn't matter because the process of developing your character is relatively the same. It just depends on the project. So, for example, if you're trying to develop your character for class, well, you're going to have to work at a lot quicker pace because maybe your class is in a week from now. Um, if you're doing a movie, maybe you have some time to prepare and you have three months to prepare until you're shooting your movie. Well, then you have more time to prepare and you're going through this process. But I'm still doing the same thing. It's just sometimes I have a longer period of time and then other times I have a shorter period of time. But the same thing we're working with. So there's a lot of different ways and a lot of different things that you can actually do to go and develop your character and there's a lot of different things. Um, I'm going to focus on one point today. This is one of the most important points that you can actually work on and think on. Uh, if you want more, just let me know and we can make another video on this. Uh, but this is going to be one of the most important ones. So, it's going through this process and asking the question of why. And we're going to get into details on this a little bit. So, in order to develop your character, you have to know who your character is. Because if you don't know who your character is, it's very hard to develop that character. It's kind of like you have a block of wood. There's this big block of wood, and you have to make something out of it. But you have to know what you're making. So if you have to make a chair, you don't want to make a table. You can make, there's different types of chairs, there's thousands of chairs in the world. You can make a particular chair, but you have to know that's what you're making. So it's the same thing with acting. We have to know, okay, who is our character? Once we know who our character is, then we can mold and shape it the way that we want, like a block of wood. But we have to know who our character is. If we don't, we're kind of shooting blanks in, in the dark and we don't know what we're doing. So we have to ask the question, why? Um, and here's what I mean. We have to ask the question, why, for why are we doing the actions that we're doing in the scene, in the movie, in the play, whatever. Why are we doing the actions that we're doing? Why are we saying the lines that we're saying? And how are we saying those lines and why are we saying it that way? So, for example, you may be doing a scene. Okay, you got books for this part, you're doing a scene, and you're with your scene partner here. And your line is, I love you. Now, you can say, I love you in a thousand, thousand different ways. The line could be, you could say the line to the girl, this is the girl that you've been wanting to be with forever. She says, I love you. You could be really excited. You're smiling. You're going, oh my gosh, I love you too. Or maybe this is something where, you know, your character doesn't like this person anymore. They're very bored. Or maybe they do like the person but they're bored and they've been with them for a long time and I love you's just become something that's not special anymore. So when they say I love you, they go, yeah, yeah, I love you too. Okay. Two different types of people, both saying I love you. One of them is really happy going, I love you. The other one's going, okay, I love you. Or there could be someone who's really disinterested in somebody going, okay, I love you. Very different type of characters, but we have to ask ourselves why in order to figure out which character we are. That's how we figure out, hey, am I the guy who's really happy about this? Or am I the guy who's going to be on my knees crying saying, oh my gosh, I love you? Or am I the guy who's bored? Or am I the guy who said I love you so many times that now the word doesn't mean anything anymore? It all depends, and that's why we're asking ourselves why. So here's what we figure out. When we have our line, it says, I love you. Okay, so we're trying to figure out why are we saying I love you? We have to find clues within the text. So maybe the line that comes afterwards, your scene partner's lines, that may be the simplest clue to why you're saying I love you. So for example... Maybe you're saying, I love you, but your scene partner, their next line is, why did you sound so bored when you said it? That's your scene partner's line. Why did you sound so bored when you said it? Well, then that defines what your character is saying, why they're saying it the way that they are. We still haven't figured it out, but we do know that, okay, our character is saying this in a bored way. So now we're thinking, okay, why is my character now saying it in a bored way? So if you can see, we're going through and we're saying, okay, why, 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 why? And then maybe you figure out in this scene, maybe it'll say your character is going to break up with their partner, or maybe your character's been having a really bad day at work, so they're not even really paying attention to what's going on. It could be a thousand different reasons, but we have to go through and analyze our scene. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes you guys will get auditions, and you'll get a scene. A scene is not the entire script. The entire script, you have everything, you can go through it, you can really define who your character is. When you just get the scene, you're gonna be doing the best that you can. Now, sometimes the scene, it maybe it won't have the answer as to why you're sounding bored. All you know is, is that you sounded bored when you said I love you. That's all you know, 
but you don't know why you said it, and that's okay. You can still act it. You just have to make a choice. So you have to make the choice and say, okay, you know what, this character is saying, I love you, and they're saying it because they've said it so many times. Not that they hate the person, they've just said I love you so many times now that that's the reason they're saying I love you. And that will change how you're acting through the whole scene. The basics are, is that you're asking yourself why. Why are you doing the same things that you're doing? Another example, it might be with your physicality, how you're acting. So maybe the scene says, okay, Bob is in the car, Bob walks out of the car, slams the door, walks to the door of a house, and bangs on the door. That right there, saying, okay, well, why is my character walking out of the car, slamming the door, and banging on the door of a house? Okay, well, this character probably is mad. And now we go through the text and we try to see, okay, what is this character saying to the person he's going to be speaking to? What other clues can we have to confirm this point? But we have to ask ourselves why. Okay, he's getting out of the car, slamming the door, banging on the door of the house. Probably mad, most likely. But now, the scene would be different if we said, okay, Bob gets out of the car, he does a little spin and twirl, he closes the door softly, he's dancing, he sees the butterfly that goes right across the street, then he goes up to the door and he just taps his favorite song. That tells a completely different character, and you don't want to bring one character, the one who slams the door, into that scene, and vice versa. You don't want to bring the guy who's dancing all the way up to the door into the scene where he's going and he's slamming the car door. It doesn't work. But we have to ask ourselves why. Why is our character doing what they're doing? Why are they acting the way that they are with their physicality? Why are they saying the things that they're saying? And then why are they saying them the way that they're saying them? Why are they saying it like they're bored? Why are they saying it like they're happy? We have to know these things. Now, you could go crazy with this, and I suggest that you don't, but you could be the person who goes and says, okay, he went to the restaurant. Bob, it says, went to the restaurant here. He ordered a cheeseburger instead of a pizza. You could go crazy with these things, and you could ask yourself, okay, why did he order a cheeseburger instead of a pizza? Well, is he trying to worry about his calories? Is he trying to think about this? You, you could do that, but I would suggest that you don't, because that's really getting to the, to the nitty-gritty, and it actually doesn't matter at all. It's very, very pointless, unless your character, throughout the entire movie, you have the whole scene, or the whole, you have the whole script, and it says throughout this entire movie he will never eat a pizza and it makes a point of it, then that's one thing. But if it's not making a point of it, don't try to second guess and think, why did he order a cheeseburger instead of pizza? Why did he get lemonade instead of water? It doesn't matter. You just want to focus on the things that are actually important. So asking yourself, why are they doing what they're doing with their physicality? Why are they saying the things that they're saying? And why are they saying it the way that they are saying what they're speaking? Those are the things that you have to ask yourself. So continually, continually, continually ask yourself why. And that will help you so much more when you're trying to develop your character because you're figuring out who your character actually is. And when you're figuring out who they are, then that's developing your character. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can be up to date with everything. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Also, I'll be leaving the 10 hour acting masterclass if you guys are interested in that down in the description below and also in the comment section. It takes about two or so minutes to sign up um, and also be leaving the 10 acting resume templates down in the description as well. Alrighty, see you guys, bye bye.